As someone who has performed thousands of cataract surgeries over the years, I've seen firsthand how this procedure can change lives. But I've also seen how misinformation and fear can hold people back from getting the best care they can get. I keep hearing the same questions from patients. Can I go blind if cataract surgery goes wrong? Can I lose my sight? Or what's the chance of having complications during the procedure? In this video, I will talk about the risks of cataract surgery in detail. Afterward, I will tell you the most important factor that will help you minimize these risks so you can enjoy fantastic vision without the fear of going blind. Hi, I'm Dr. Ilan Cohen, a board-certified ophthalmologist with 25 years of experience to help enhance your eyes and your vision. The most serious risks of cataract surgery have to do with something going wrong during the operation. These include the following. One, excessive bleeding inside the eye. This may require a surgeon to immediately stop the operation, close the eye and wait for it to heal. A subsequent operation will be needed to fix the problem. Two, some remnants of the cataract could fall back into the eye. And if that's the case, a subsequent operation, which is typically performed by a retina specialist, needs to be performed to resolve the problem. Number three, the inability of the surgeon to put in a lens during the surgery because of ruptured membranes or some other type of anatomical irregularity in the eye. Four, sometimes when the cataract is very advanced, the use of significant ultrasound energy can cause damage to the inner lining of the cornea, also known as endothelium. If that happens, you may need another procedure later to change the inner lining of the cornea. Five, in other situations when the pupil is very small or irregular and floppy, it can sustain damage during the surgery which makes it look irregular and can also influence your vision. If this happens, there might be a need for a subsequent surgery to fix the pupil. Another issue that could happen is that the wrong lens bar is implanted into the eye, resulting in suboptimal visual outcomes. This could happen because of limitations in lens measurement technologies that are being used or as a result of human error. If this happened, there would be a need for a lens exchange procedure to be carried out later in order to change the lens and improve the vision. But before I continue, hit like and subscribe to stay updated about the latest advances in eye care technology. Now, let's talk about risks of problems that can happen after the surgery. The most dreadful one is an eye infection known as endophthalmitis, which can happen a few days and in some cases even a few weeks after the surgery. If this happens, it is considered a medical emergency and the patient needs to receive immediate expert care to remedy the situation. Another problem that can happen is swelling in the back of the eye known as cystoid macular edema. This can cause blurring of vision and will require special drops for treatment and in some cases, injection of steroids into the eye. Another issue that can happen after the surgery, and it usually happens months after the surgery, is formation of a secondary cataract, which is not really considered a complication, but happens in about 10 to 20% of all patients. Happily, the solution is a very simple laser procedure called the YAG laser capsulotomy, which is a very quick and painless procedure that provides immediate relief. Another possibility is that everything went well during the surgery and you had no post-operative complications. However, you're not very happy with the visual results and the quality of your vision. So in these cases, there is no danger to the eye. This can be remedied in a few different ways, depending on the specific causes. The remedies can range from a lens exchange procedure to observation or to some form of laser vision correction procedure. All of these issues are more likely to happen if you have more than just a simple cataract. What's called a complex cataract surgery requires significantly more skill by the surgeon and he usually carries a higher risk for any of the conditions I mentioned before. What is considered 
as complex cataract surgery. When the cataract has been present in the eye for a very long time and is very hard, or when the pupil is very small and does not dilate well with the usual drops. There are also certain medications that can increase the risk of surgery, such as prostate medications. If you have a complex cataract, your surgeon needs to explain the situation and the proper risks to you beforehand, and you need to know that the risk level is not the same as in a routine cataract surgery. As I promised, I will not discuss the most important factor that will help you reduce these risks to the absolute minimum. This will most probably not come as a surprise to you, but the most important factor is the surgeon that performs the surgery. You should know that the risk of the cataract could vary by a factor of 10 between one surgeon to the next. As always, this is a matter of skill and experience. You want to make sure that you see a surgeon that does a lot of cataract surgeries. In fact, many of these surgeons do not routinely see patients for anything other than surgical problems. Busy surgeons typically perform at least 500 to 1,000 cases a year, and many perform significantly more than that. You want to choose someone that has a very good track record and does a lot of these. The best sources of referral are other doctors and eye professionals. All that being said, I want you to remember that cataract surgery is one of the safest surgeries on earth, as well as one with the highest potential to transform your vision and change your life's quality. Being aware of the risks is different than letting fear interfere with your ability to enjoy the best vision you can get. I've seen so many patients that let fear prevent them from getting cataract surgery early on when it was a simple procedure, and now that they're being referred to me by their ophthalmologist, because their cataract is considered complex. Of course, even if you have complex cataracts, you can still have an excellent outcome if it's performed by an expert surgeon. However, why wait and increase the risk when you don't have to, and in the meanwhile, not enjoy the fantastic outcome offered by this life-changing procedure? If you're ready to take the next step, it's time to have a look at the different cataract lenses. Which lens is the most suitable for your specific situation? Let's discover it together here in this video below. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer them. Don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe so you can get more of these educational videos.